Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBoyTrackGear.com, and today we're going to talk about race suit fit. We're going to talk about how to size up a suit. We're going to show you three examples of fits that we've identified. One is going to be a nice snug race fit, right? Not a lot of extra volume inside the suit. The next is going to be a more comfortable fit. A little additional operating room, additional volume that will accept more armor, a thicker back protector, a thicker chest protector, some padding in the hips and such, and just be more comfortable so that you're less distracted on the bike. And then the final one is going to be flat out too big with far too much excess volume that you're unable to pick up by using additional layers of armor underneath. Choosing the right size, that is without a doubt the trickiest part about buying a race suit, okay? Size charts. I took and used the Alpine Stars size chart. No disrespect to Alpine Stars, but as an example, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna measure myself up. I'm gonna see which size suit the chart indicates for me. As a reference, five feet 11 inches tall, about 207 pounds with a somewhat athletic build, okay? My chest measurement put me in a 58 euro. My waist measurement put me in a 50 euro. My hip measurement, 50 euro. My thigh measurement suggested a 56 euro. My inseam measurement suggested a 52 euro. The outer arm, 54, and my height put me in a 52 euro. So you can clearly see that by going through all of that, it really did not lead me in a good direction. The good news for you all is that's where we come in. We put a lot of time and effort into the race suits. It is really the cornerstone of our business. Nobody understands the race suit more than we do here for sure. So for sizing, the best thing to do, if you want to look at the size chart and get an idea of where you're at, that's great. Watch our videos. We're going to give a lot of sizing information to each individual one and contact our team via email or over the telephone and they're going to help get you into the right size. I'll be back in a second and we're going to show you an example of a suit that we feel offers a nice spot on race style fit. Okay, the first example that we're going to give you is a nice race fit. We picked a racer for our model, one of our team members, Eric. Six feet tall, 160 pounds, and he's an athlete, obviously. The guy's in really good shape. We've got him in a size 50 Alpine Stars Adam One Piece suit. Back protector is a Knox Aegis eight plate. He has underneath it just a cycle skin. Nothing else taking up any volume. Right. How do you feel the fit is? It's perfect. You know, I could go out in this and race tomorrow. It's just the right fit. You look at the arms, okay? I'm not able to pinch a lot of extra leather there. Same thing in the elbow. It's holding the armor in place. This is putting everything right where it needs to be. It's snug form, but it's not going to be a distraction. Exactly. Tiny little bit of breaking when you're out on the racetrack. And this thing's going to be like pajama perfect. It's perfect, yeah. Little to the snug side, but still a good, solid race fit. If you want to go ahead and give them a nice 360. And remember, too, when you're looking at a, a race suit, they're never really cut to be in this position. Right. There's, they're meant to be in the racing tuck position on the bike for most the most amount of comfort. So one of the things... Like you'll see if you'll turn sideways, please. This suit fits him perfect. And there's a little bit of extra leather there in the seat. If you want to squat down a little bit, Eric, like you're getting, you can see immediately what looked like a little bit of extra leather there is now gone. All that volume is taken up. Because remember, it is cut to be in that race position. And your body essentially becomes longer. When you bend at the waist like that, it's pulling on all that leather. Yeah, it's going to stretch out the back a little bit. Exactly. So don't ever mistake a little bit of extra leather in a seat as being too big. So this is a good example of a race style fit. We're going to come back with more of a comfort fit, which is going to accommodate additional layers of armor underneath. And if you're a track day or a canyon rider, and you really want that higher level of comfort right from Jump Street, right. that may be the right fit for you. Okay, next up we have what we've labeled here the comfort fit. Same model, same six feet, 160 pound frame. We've got them in a size 52 Euro Alpine Stars Adam suit. He's still wearing the Knox Aegis eight plate back protector. 
you can immediately see there's some more excess volume available. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger. If you're not swimming in it, it'd still be a very safe model, just more of a comfort fit. Exactly. You look here, like in the arms. If you remember before, I showed you how much I could pinch. I can pinch a, a bit more at this point. Understand, this is, this is still okay. It's safe. The, the elbow protector, it's going to be held in place. The shoulder protector, all those protectors will remain where they need to be, okay? The advantage between a real racy fit versus a more comfort fit is when you get it on the ground, if you, if you do happen to fall off and you're sliding, with a suit that has a little bit of excess leather, like this could fold upright and have a little bit of a focus spot here and maybe burn a little bit harder in that spot. That's about the, the biggest trade-off. A more race fit, they crash a little bit better, Right. Quite, quite honestly. But there's a big pro with this one too because now he has the volume throughout this suit to accept additional layers of armor if he chooses to do that. Examples of that would be Knox has a really sweet chest protector. It's going to extend out and get to the sides of the ribs. You can get that under here with that Aegis. Easy, Not a problem. Right? I know you like to wear these because you said the ground hurts. Ground hurts a lot. I definitely wear these all the time. Armored shorts, right? Those, it's got plenty of volume down here now to accept those as well. And lastly, the Aegis back protector that we have in there is... I would say it's not the thinnest model, but it's also not really thick. You could step up to like the, the Knox Metasys or the Sub 4 from Force Field. They're both a lot thicker than the Aegis, but now you've got the room to do that. Right. If you want to go ahead and give them a 360 just so they can get an idea of what this is going to look like all the way around. See the additional room here in the back, right? More in the seat, of course. Additional volume in the legs, which is going to allow for him to get that layer of armor underneath if he chooses to. Our last example is going to be a suit that's just flat out too big. All right, here we go. The last example. Flat out too big. Way too big. This suit would not be safe for the racetrack or even on the street riding. And how many times at the racetrack have we seen suits that fit just like this or bigger? It happens way too often, and it's it's really just not even safe. You know, you want a suit that's going to fit fit your body right. and your body type. Same six feet, same 160 pounds. The difference this time is we have a size 54 Euro Alpine Stars Adam suit. Still that Knox 8 plate Aegis back protector, but look at the differences in the fit. We'll start up here in the arm. I mean, I can wad up extra leather. Yeah. Right, the shoulder protector, that's just pulling away and rotating off his body. Elbow protector, same thing. Let's talk about the pros of too big. Super comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. I mean, you're not even going to know you're wearing a suit on the street or, or on the track even, but it's just not going to be the right fit for you. You sacrifice a ton of safety, okay? Eric has a crash in this. The chance of the armor migrating off of the joint that it's covering increases exponentially between the the 52 and this 54 so it could result in injury another thing that can happen is if you want to go ahead and turn sideways let's give him a nice 360 or two look at all this extra i mean that extra stuff everywhere he can be sliding along this stuff can bunch up and kind of create a tumble tumbling is painful it also these folds create those focus burn points you can end up burning through the suit and violate the suit itself got all the additional leather there in the seat and lastly, one of the big things, too, is the knee armor. I mean, yeah. look at that. Not even close. Not, no, that's, not, that's no good. We've identified two fits that are both good, okay? And that's going to be a personal choice. I like my suits tight. He likes his suits tight. We go with the first example. Yeah. Okay? The comfort fit is the one that we see probably utilized most often and that's perfectly okay because it's less distracting it allows for the use of the additional armor underneath which is a huge huge benefit and still it crashes well it keeps the armor in place less folding up leather and burn through focus points which is good but this last one no bueno not good it's not good race suit sizing it can be tricky it can be difficult we already told you that the size chart that's nah, not going to be of any value. You look at like Alpine Stars, for example. They have eight different suit models and one size chart. Yeah. <laughs> Every one of these suits is cut different. 
The good news for you all is nobody understands race suits better than than STG. You know, I've tried on 90% of the suits that we have and offer, and I know how they all fit. So if you need any questions or have any answers or just yeah. we're the right place to call. Call us, email us, ask us for help, watch the videos. We give a lot of sizing information in the videos, and then remember. No restocking fees, right? Free shipping for any order over 40 to lower 48 states and massively affordable international shipping rates. This is how to pick your right race suit fit and size a race suit video. I'm Brian Van. This is Eric from sportbiketrackgear.com.